Hello, my name is Ben, one of the co-founders of myelopathy.org and an academic neurosurgeon at the University of Cambridge. In this short video, I'm going to explain why we're developing a new assessment tool for myelopathy and why we now need the community's help to take that forward. So assessment tools are really important to be able to objectively monitor a disease. So in clinical practice, we can understand when to offer treatment, but also in research, that we can start to work out whether new treatments are beneficial, whether they're safe. And the problem with current assessments of myelopathy is they're heavily reliant on doctors, and that the assessment can therefore vary between doctors. They also focus on the extremes of the disease and not very good at measuring and monitoring the earlier stages. And they cannot detect very small changes and therefore not very good at measuring the variability of symptoms that people experience. And certainly one of the key themes that have come across from working with the myelopathy.org community is it's not capturing the full spectrum of the experience either. So our goals are really to try and develop a tool that people with myelopathy themselves can do. Something that can be done quite frequently, that can measure those small changes accurately. Start to capture the fuller experience of myelopathy. And there's some hope that if we can do that, we could potentially have a tool which could also help not just monitor and measure the disease, but perhaps also start to help diagnose it earlier. So we're really building on the AOSpine Recode DCM initiative, which many of you would have been involved in. This is something that brought people living and working with the condition together to really work out what the critical aspects are of the condition that need to be measured at an absolute minimum. And as part of that project, we conducted many, many surveys. We also did some interview work with people living with the condition. That generated and gives a really full experience and understanding of what was happening as a result of myelopathy. We've been able to take that and generate a very long list of all the different experiences and effects of the condition. And by combining each of those effects with a severity scale of one to 10, where one is barely noticeable and 10 is incredibly noticeable, but also NA not applicable because we know that not everyone experiences everything. This is really our first attempt at an assessment tool, something we're calling the myelopathy.org symptom inventory. And this is the beginning of a long journey because we now need to work to refine and develop this to make this a really usable tool. And that's where you guys in the community, people living with the condition, come in. So in this survey, what we're asking people to do is to complete that assessment, to complete some benchmark assessments as well so we can compare and contrast but also to provide a little bit of basic information about yourself, just so we can understand that we are measuring all the different aspects of the condition. We're gonna to need to do that multiple times, so probably intervals of a month, three or four times. And from all of that information, based on feedback that you give, but also statistical models, we're gonna to start to be able to work out which of those questions are critically needed. Can this test be shortened slightly? If fundamentally, is this test measuring myelopathy? Does it do so accurately over a period of time? And how should we score that questionnaire. And so really that's what this survey is about. It's going to ask you some basic information about yourself. It's going to ask you to complete two assessments, which are sort of gold standard benchmarks uh, in use around the world. It's going to ask you then to complete the myelopathy.org symptom inventory. It's going to ask you for a bit of short feedback. And there is one final step, which is more of an option, uh, but I'd obviously appreciate that time as well. And that's something called the Japanese Orthopedic Association Cervical Myelopathy Questionnaire. Because about 10, 15 years ago, the Institute in Japan started to grapple with a similar question. And they developed their own uh, questionnaire, which does align with many of those goals that we have at the top of that presentation. But the main problem with that questionnaire is it's in Japanese. And so what we've done is taken a translation, slightly modified that to make it more usable. We now want to see whether that works in English, because it may well be that that questionnaire is also of great value to measuring DCM. So of course, thanks very much uh, in advance for your help and time. This survey is estimated to take about 20, 25 minutes. Do take your time. It does take quite a long time to go through all those different features, but we really do think this is a good and starting point for, for, for getting a better grip on measuring myelopathy. Any questions, uh, please do feel free to email me and thank you again.